Today in our 2018 Subaru Forester, we're going to be installing Draw Tights Class 3 2 inch trailer hitch receiver, part number 75876. The receiver tube is going to be visible at the back, and if you get down low, you will be able to see the cross tube. However, it's tucked underneath pretty far, so most of the time you won't be able to notice it. It's a Class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver. It's going to work great with ball mounts, bike rack carriers, and just about any other accessory that you can think of. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin which does not come included, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com using part number PC3. The smaller hole in front of the hitch pin hole will allow it to accommodate a J pin, which will come in and contact the shank on whatever's inside your hitch, acting as an anti-rattle device. It features plate style safety chain loops that have a very wide opening, so it'll be able to accommodate just about any size safety chain that you can imagine. It has a 525 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 3500 pound gross trailer weight, which is how much that it can pull behind it. Now when using a weight distribution system, the tongue weight's gonna remain the same. However, that trailer weight is gonna extend to 4,000 pounds. And now to help you when deciding on accessories, I've got some measurements for you. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it's gonna measure about 13 and a quarter inches. This is useful when deciding if you need a drop, rise, or a raised shank on any accessories you're using. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost edge of the bumper, it's gonna measure about five and a half inches. This is important when deciding if you need an extension for your shank or when purchasing any folding accessories to ensure you're gonna have clearance when putting it in the upright position. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation by lowering our exhaust. Before you lower it down, you'll wanna put a strap in place. We're putting the strap in place to make sure we don't cause any damage to our exhaust system when we lower it down. <laughs> to lower your exhaust system, we'll need to remove three hangers. There's two located on each side of your muffler, one on each side, and there's one located just here in front of your driver's side rear axle. To make it easier to remove the hanger, a little bit of spray lubricant will help it slide off easier. And then you can just take a pry bar and pry the hanger off. Do the same for the remaining two hangers. Once all your hangers are removed, you can go back to your strap and give yourself a little bit of slack to lower it down out of your way. Now remove your heat shield. Take out the four bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. You can set this aside as we'll be trimming it and reinstalling it later. Now, if your vehicle had a dual exhaust system, there may be additional hangers that you'll have to remove to lower your exhaust, and there'll also be another heat shield on the opposite side that you would need to remove. Remove the four rubber plugs on the bottom side of your frame rail. You can use a flat-bladed screwdriver to pry up underneath to get each plug out. After removing the four plugs on one side, remove the four plugs on the opposing side. Now take your coiled fish wire and starting at the rearmost hole, put the coiled end in and run it up to your frontmost largest hole, which is your access hole where you'll be feeding through your components. You may have to stick your finger in the hole to guide the fish wire down back through the hole. I like to bend the very end of the fish wire to prevent it from pulling all the way through. Now slide on your spacer and thread on your carriage bolt onto the coiled wire. Then push them both up into the frame and feed them back through with the fish wire. Repeat this same process on the two remaining holes on this side and all three holes on the opposing side. We now need to trim our heat shield. I've gone ahead and made a mark outlining what we're gonna cut out. This will allow clearance for our hitch and the hardware that runs through it. You can use a pair of tin snips or a cutting wheel to trim your heat shield. We're just gonna use some tin snips. And now that we've trimmed our heat shield, we can reinstall it. and then re-tighten them with a 10 millimeter socket. 
We've now got ourselves an extra set of hands to help us lift our hitch into place. We'll go up over our passenger side exhaust first. And then you'll want to feed your fish wires through and raise it into position. Then lift it up into position. Remove your fish wire. Place on a conical tooth washer with the teeth facing up towards the hitch, followed by a nut. Once you've got a nut started on both sides, the hitch will hold itself into position, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. Then repeat this same process on the other side. And now torque all of your hardware to the specifications in your instructions using a 13 16 socket. We can now lift our exhaust back into position. Again, a little bit of spray lubricant will make it slide on much easier. Repeat that for the two remaining exhaust hangers. You can now remove the strap that you use to support your exhaust, and you're ready to hook up your hitch and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Draw Tights Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2018 Subaru Forester. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.